to IMAX, the world's most immersive movie experience. Powered by a combination of the most advanced technology, we'll take you from the edge of your seat to the edge of reality. Enjoy crystal clear images and colors so intense they will take your breath away in specially designed theaters that bring you closer to the movies you love. Huge panoramic screens that allow you to escape into your favorite movie scenes and immersive sound that will surround you from here. Here. And here. We can take you from a pin drop to the thunder of a jet engine. ready to enjoy an unparalleled movie experience. IMAX. Enhanced. Never compromise. What's up, guys? It's Raph. In the Raph cave. Thanks for coming by and checking out this video. Here is another home theater talker. We're talking about crossover settings. Now, guys, there's a lot of stuff about crossovers. A lot of stuff, guys. So I'm going to talk to you about what I am doing for my system. Now, this probably won't be good for yours, depending on what you have. Now, when you talk about crossover settings, a lot of variables. The room you have is a variable. The speakers you have is a variable. The equipment you have is a variable, okay? All these things will change depending on what you want to set things at. So we're going to talk about what I have. I'm going to talk to you about what I'm doing, so maybe it can help you out. I don't know if you, lost, if you watched my last video on channel volume, you'll see uh, that I've set my fronts to large. Uh, I have what's called the uh, Klipsch RF7. They're reference speakers. They're beautiful. They've been lasting over 10 years. I love them. They have dual 10-inch woofers in them, and they're rated to go down to 32 hertz. That's amazing, right? Now, I have separate amplifiers. I don't have a receiver. I'm running the Marantz. AV7705 processor going into an amazing carver and outlaw amps. So I have the power to drive the speakers. And with the speakers I have here, rated to go down to 32 hertz, I'm going to give them a little more bass. Now for me and my taste, I love big action sound. I love full sound. I'm the kind of guy that wants to get the most out of my system, right? I'm going to set those to large. The rest of my speakers are small. You'll know why when we go to small, what that happens to the speaker I'll show you in a moment. All right, so we're going to crossovers. Those are my crossover settings right now. And it's going to be for a while because it sounds incredible. I love it. Now, remember when I set my front speakers to, to, to large, giving them that full sound, and they're ready to go down to 32 hertz, I'm going to give them down to 40 hertz. So they're getting really nice bass information. They're not going down to the lowest part. I always give that cushion. Give that window of, 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 of bass so they're not pushing too hard, but they're still giving you what they're meant to do and what you're paying for. That's why I go down to 40 hertz. My center speaker is the Klipsch RC7. And that's rated to go down to 45 hertz. So I'm going to set them at 60 hertz, right? So 60 hertz, going to give them plenty of bass. Not, not pushing them too much, but I'm getting that nice full sound in my center. That's why I go down to 60. Surround sound. I have four RS7 Klipsch surround speakers. And those are rated to go down to 49 hertz. So I'm going to leave those at 60 hertz. Give them nice full sound. Not pushing them too much, but they're able to give me a little bit more bass, which is awesome. For my ears, I love that full sound. Right? Now, Dolby Atmos speakers, those are smaller, right? So you don't want to push them too much. The ones I have now are the RS-B2 Klipsch. They're rated to go down to 59 hertz. So, of course, I'm not going to go to 60 hertz for those guys. I'm going to give them that cushion. So I'm going to put that at 80 hertz for those guys. Now, with that being said, on all my crossovers, I'm going to show you my uh, subwoofer setting now. So for me, since I have large front speakers and I want them to get the full sound, I set them at 40 hertz, I'm going to set them to LFE plus main because they can handle the bass that's designed to go to them 
and I'm getting the subwoofer bass at the same time, which is awesome because the music sounds way better when you add that subwoofer. Love it. Now with my LFE settings, I don't go with 120 hertz. I don't want my subs to get anything that's too, too out, of, out of ordinary. I don't like that sound. For my ears, my taste, my equipment, my room, 90 hertz, a little bit of cushion above the threshold of 80 hertz, we'll tap it out at 90. And then two channel playback is just, it's just on auto. So guys, for my crossover settings, the thing is guys, you know, when you go online, you see, you know, you read information, you read articles, you read forums, you see hundreds and thousands of YouTuber videos about crossover settings saying small, 80 hertz, boom, you're done. Of course it works on majority of systems. My system, the RAF Cave, I have a little more liberty. I have five subwoofers and pretty full sounding speakers. And to my ears, the way I have it set is amazing. For you guys, home theater is a treat. Enjoy it. Play around with it. What I recommend is get your favorite demo scene. Play it, listen to it, sounds good. Experiment, experiment with the crossover settings. Experiment with what you're getting more of your home theater, more out of your speakers, that's the idea. Get the most you can out of your hard-earned dollar, what you're spending on your speakers, to get that theater experience that you're happy with. It's all about you. It's all about your ears, what you like. That's the freedom you have. Don't take someone's information, just throw it in your system and be done with it. You could be missing out on so much more potential of your home theater sound. So take advantage of it. Play around with your settings. Enjoy it. This is what I settled in, and it sounds amazing. All right, guys. Hopefully, I helped you out a little bit, give you some ideas and pointers. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share if you're, if you're new. Oh, I love this stuff, guys. You know that. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching this video again. Home Theater Rules. Raf Cave out.